seems that if you're interested in doing research, you don't have an option. Um, it's, it's me and me, right? <laughs> um, but again, uh, there's a, a difference between the two courses. Uh, one is uh, more heavily uh, focused on management, and the other is on policy, and that's going to be reflected in the in-class discussion as well as course contents. Uh, in terms of these two courses, um, the final product is a full-length paper, about 20-page double-space uh, research paper um, in which you will conduct a thorough literature review. Uh, in, you know, first of all, you have to always have a research question. Uh, think about the question, a policy issue or managerial issue that you're interested in. Uh, for example, evaluating the effectiveness of, um, you know, um, you know, food stamp program in a, in a given location, uh, or uh, does a nonprofit work or not, uh, you know, does it, do they work with uh, other organizations to produce a certain outcome? So, um, you know, does, any topics, I'm, 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 or I'm, I'm saying that if you're, any topics that you, you think that, that, that you, you, can, you want, would like to do, uh, you know, you feel free to, uh, you know, ask me. Um, and to you know to, to say Dr. Yi, this is something that you consider relevant for my research. I'm happy to give you a yes or no. Um, but another thing uh, before you move forward would be to uh, start collecting data. So the data will be essential to be successful success, successful in this uh, two courses. Either one of these, uh, uh, the data could be either quantitative or qualitative. Uh, what I mean by data is you can do regression, which is great. I, I, you know, I would like to see regression analysis, you know, time series, panel data, or you know, regression. But it doesn't mean that if you do not do regression, then I will fail, fail you, right? So I will equally value students who have, um, you know, conduct qualitative work. And actually, in the class, we will have one session devoted to qualitative methods. Uh, that basically means that if you're interested in doing interviews or um, document analysis, or um, anything beyond a simple literature review. Um, what I mean by data is that you go ahead and, and, and you know, find evidence, right? It shouldn't be a pure argumentation in the paper, right? So that's uh, what I would expect from the paper, that you have a substantive research question on any topics, um, and perhaps uh, topics on budgeting and finance or nonprofit topics, you know, it's better that you work with um, Professor uh, Beaton and Professor Sturdy. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, you know, all, all other topics, uh, you're welcome to, to join me. Um, but I would strongly urge you to, to, to look for data. In terms of the substantive, uh, you know, weekly, day-to-day, week-to-week uh, -week activities, uh, we're going to provide, um, you know, weekly contents in terms of helping you get to know the research process, how to write the introduction, how to write the literature review, and then uh, different sections. We're going to segment uh, each of the portions of the paper so that you have uh, weekly goals to achieve. So I'm going to, you know, you don't have to worry about not getting it done because you'll get it done. Um, you know, I will force you to, uh, to get it done, basically. But, but event, you know, people are stressed out at the beginning because this is a long paper, a 20 page, it's a capstone, looks daunting in the beginning. But eventually, it, uh, you know, students after like two months, after the initial stress, they, they find pretty much relaxed at, at the very end until they see that, you know, they're, you're able to get it done, you have uh, good results, you have something that you can present to your future employer. And, and that's what I find uh, food, uh, you know, very rewarding in this class, that is you, you can see yourself grow over time. And another thing I want to mention is uh, in the classroom, the uh, two and a half, two and a half hour uh, in-class time, we will not only cover uh, you know, re our readings, uh, and, you know, half of the time will be in-class discussions. Um, you know, basically, you'll be discussing and providing comments and feedbacks to each other on their submissions. So, uh, you know, for example, if you submit your literature review, and uh, um, you will provide comments to each other by seeing how uh, you know other people are doing their literature review. At the same time, after that review is done, you're, you're going to write a response to how you're going to address those comments. And then at the same, uh, and then next rounds, we're going, me and my TA are going to provide you additional rounds of feedback 
in that way you can keep improving on your writing until you know you have a perfect final product that you can present and you, if you're proud of it you can write an acknowledgement and putting you and your family members and people you know you, you care about in, in that capstone so that's how I see uh, you know these two capstones uh, will go and uh, you know um, the, the only um, minor thing I want to mention is the a variation in title um, so if you do want to do a more policy oriented healthcare policy energy policy education policy transportation policy national security I would encourage you to do in, in role in policy and management is more like public uh, you know, um, public personnel or organization local government um, managerial decisions um, you know personnel decision human resource and all those other topics and you know anything related to uh, organization or strategic management performance management feel free to enroll in management but if anything you're not sure about or if you um, you know if you're sort of tight uh, you're, if you uh, have uh, time constraints uh, feel free to ask me uh, we do have flexibilities in enrolling in one versus the other but we do need to you know um, better tailor to your needs in terms of uh, design from my um, you know part all right the other thing I would add, if you're still trying to think of topics, I know I have a bunch of you in class this semester, and you'll be writing a paper for me this semester. You can use that to start out <laughs> your, your capstone papers or your 6080 class. You can build on what you did in your 6080 class. If, there, if you have data from your job or your internship, those of you who are interested in things um, related to local government, the city of Columbus, actually, we have alumni working for the city of Columbus that might be willing to take you on as a client to work on a real world problem. So there are lots of different sources for, for topics for the papers. So uh, first of all, the client-based research is definitely welcome. So if you uh, don't have your own idea or you prefer doing a client-based research, just feel free to go ahead and do it. Uh, I, I encourage you to, to, um, to, to get that integrated research experience. The second thing is, as Dr. Greenbaum mentioned, is your 6080 research paper. If you have, do have a draft you would like to extend, um, don't feel shy about doing that. Um, you know, because most likely in that paper, in that research, you, you have a draft of research design, right? Um, or if you have a very uh, preliminary data analysis. In this class, I'm happy to see you extend it uh, to, to have a more thorough literature review. Uh, maybe you have just, you know, one page literature review. You can extend it to five pages in this paper. And then with more data and more uh, advanced analysis, and that can make it very good capstone paper. Um, you know, I, I would def definitely encourage you to to go back and look at your, what you have done in the 68. Maybe you already forgot, but it's something that as a resource to you and definitely can help you in in, in, in quickly locating your your research question. Any quick questions? We'll do a longer Q and A.